Dear Henry, today we found a ghost crab at a beach in Florida. A little boy had shown him to us. Look at how cute it is. I had never seen anything like this. It was so afraid of us and it scurried across the beach looking for something. I don't know what it was looking for. What do you think? Well, it continued to walk. It would shift directions from time to time. First moving sideways, then forward, and then sideways in another direction. It headed towards the water and then into some of the and pine needles and other seaweeds lying on the shore. It stopped and turned, its big eyes looking at and us. And then we were so amazed to see the little crab begin moving the stuff around on the shore. It would dig with its claws, stop it and look at me and begin digging again and watch. It would pull it to the side and it would do it again. The little crab was so busy. What was it doing? It didn't take me long to realize the little crab was digging a burrow for itself. I found out later that they dig these burrows and spend the days in this, their hole in the sand. This is how they keep cool on the hot days in Florida. It was a very busy little guy. So fascinating to watch as it dug and dug and carried out the sand. Can you believe that, Henry? I just find this so amazing. I watched for a long time, very curious to know how deep it would dig its burrow. Look at that big handful of, of sand. The sand is hot. The little crab is so shy. I know he just wanted to get away from us. But look at it. He almost disappears. Oh, look at it. He's using his claws to help support him as he digs. When will he bring out the next load of sand? Oops, he's getting ready. Getting ready. Oh, down he goes. I came in from another direction. And I could see him way in his hole. And out he comes again. And Henry... That is the last time I saw Little Crab. He had dug a burrow for himself and hid inside, away from the heat of the summer day. He will stay here until tonight when he goes out to eat his supper. Love, Grandma.